far out. It's one big fire. Kill that in get. Bit more water. It's out. Oh, shit. It's back to work for Milton. He's going to check on his grazing paddocks. We've got about 3,000 wieners to go there, and I've got a fresh feed there, you know. For the king of Coolibar, it's just another day. It's good going, eh? Pays the wages. Love it, mate, love it. <laughs> but Coolibar's about to remind Milton how unpredictable she can be. Oh, shit. We got a bit of a fire there up on top. Drop a match out of the motor car. And that wind flared it up and I got a big fire right where I'm gonna put all my wieners. The feed for over 3,000 head of cattle is in the path of the fire. If the paddocks are lost, well, it doesn't bear thinking about. I don't know. There's a lot of grass here. You know, it keeps coming up the top of these hills here. Looks like the whole place out. Facing disaster, Milton phones home. Christina, with all this on fire, a whole lot, a whole lot's going. Christina, but Mrs. Jones has a handful. With no answer, Milton's got to get help from somewhere else. Last today, right there. You know, it's the last place I wanted to be, right? Here's my fourth day in a row. Oh well, getting good at it, I guess. Or better. Unaware of Milton's troubles, rookie Jeff's mundane day is still crawling along. There's a lot of fences on this joint. I'm glad Alfie's here with me, I'd like to be lost. But his morning's about to get real shaken up. Lagoon's on fire, a whole lot. You might get my throttle, she can throw that water cart on, eh? Just fill it up, we're not going to be able to get near it yet. When fire breaks out at Coolibar, the workers become the firemen. He's not exactly like him called Triple O, and just ask him to come round. We're just going to get into it now and we'll have a look. Right now, the fire's too intense to get close to. Still, Milton has to do something. See if we can at least put it out or put a fire break with a grader. Let's go down the line. See that patch in the middle? Yeah. Clear either side. Let's just go straight up there. Milton's making a fire break. An area free of trees and grass on the edge of the paddock. It should stop the flames from spreading, but like anything at Coolibar, there's no guarantees. This country, one minute it's bloody raining, the next minute it's underwater, and then it's burning. There's always something going on in there, eh? Trying to make a quid, fighting the elements. We're still losing her, she's still going. Wildfire has broken out at Coolibar, and it's moving towards the station's feeding paddocks. Christina, all the turtle lagoons on fire, a whole lot. Right there with them steers, I'm going to put them wieners, look, a whole lot's going. It looks like a bit of a grass fire is happening. It's a bit scary. Well, the worst that could happen is all the feed's destroyed, I guess. Although Milton's built a fire break to protect the valuable land, he knows it won't be enough. I'll have to get at it tonight with a water cart. We won't get near it now, it's bloody 20 foot flames, you know what I mean? Oh, just, you know, the best little paddock we got there too, right on the bitumen. I've been saving it full of feed, you know, for my wieners, and it should be gone in about three hours, I reckon. The cooler weather in the evening will make it easier to get at the fire on the ground. But when it comes time to go out, once again, one guy's getting left behind. Very frustrated. 
I'd love to try and help him pitch in. But I don't know what to do. How big is it? Oh, it's buddy nearly at that the what's the fence on the western side there, eh? And it's stretching nearly right down to the river. You know, there's that old turkey nest there. Before going to tackle the fire, Milton sent a spotter to report on the blaze. Is it at the turkey nest yet? Nah, but it's only a few hundred metres away now, but I think that it's been graded there, eh? Hopefully it'll pull up. It looks like a will probably pull up there at that fence, I reckon. We lost one, Sally. There's another three that don't really easy. Right, it's going to keep going. Oh, you reckon or what? Oh, it shouldn't go any further to the west, but if the wind swings around, it might go back towards Fitzroy. Right? I don't With the fire still out of control, Milton decides to take a man and the water cart to fight the blaze. We want to get out there and try and salvage what we can before they all go. But not everyone wants him to. Milton's very good at what he does, but there's always an element of concern because the fires can come out of nowhere and you don't want to get stuck. Where's Milton? He's gone into the chapel. With the seat going next to the boss, Jeff sees his chance. Just got told that Milton was going to go out there and fight a bushfire that had just broken out out in one of the fields. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So just asked if he needed a hand, and he did. All good, night, Brad? All good. Come on, let's go. But Jeff has no idea what he's in for. Fire out. Yeah. It's one big fire. Look out for snake coming out of the front of that fire. <coughs> smell that mongrel smell there? Yeah. The plastic burning, that's our pipeline. Have you ever fought a bushfire before? Never. And you're about to learn. The plan is to circle the blaze spraying the edges to stop it from spreading. I'll go forward a bit. Want me to get it? Yeah, I'll be. Try and get a few of these little spot fires out around here. Once it burns, it's it finished for a couple of years, you know. It won't come back. Got a bit fine to spray. If they can get on top of it, the fire should burn itself out. That's it. <coughs> you right up there? <coughs> You know, you get all the smoke and just crap into your eyes and you're still trying to get as close as you can without getting burned or anything like that. Get it in there, look. See there? Keep your line going all the way. I didn't care how tired I was. I wasn't going to go to bed without demolishing some of it. Keep your hose out wide, that's it. With just water and willpower, the boys are starting to bring the edge of the fire under control. You got him, Jeff. But one thing's running out. A bit more water. It's out. Oh, shit. Keep up it. A bit more water. While fighting the wildfire. It's out. Oh, shit. Milton and Jeff's water has dried up. Oh, no, no, I'm it up, mate. Jump in the front and let's go. If the boys go back to the station, the fire will flare up. But Milton knows somewhere else they can get a refill. Though the cattle shouldn't mind Milton taking their water, every minute spent refilling allows the fire to spread. Here it comes. Go. Now it's Milton and Jeff versus the fire. Round two. Fine spray all the way along the line. More water. <laughs> Get it in there, look. Spray it like hell like this. It's pretty crazy. Point. 
Jump in there, Jeff. Where you go. Go. You get that feeling of self-achievement. There's a fire and then suddenly there's not, you know. That was one of the best feelings of the world. Get here, Pooh. He's got a lot of energy, eh? Got himself together pretty well. Want me to jump over? No, you're right. Yeah, no, he looks all right, eh? Jump back in. Yeah, I think you're doing a good job, mate. Make a man out of me. Anything coming up behind him? You're all right, Ian. Push by a man. Milton's happy they've sprayed enough water to bring the fire under control. Now it's home time. Come on, get it. And maybe breakfast. Oh, no, that's it for the day. What a tea. <laughs> Definitely. I am ready. Come on. Yeah, big day. As Jeff hits the sack... You might look more beautiful if you had some more beauty sleep, I reckon. The rest of Koolibara just getting up. And you'd be forgiven for thinking there wasn't a giant fire last night. Oh, that's supposed to be D. Ready to kick her up? Yep. Yeehaw! I'm a cowboy, you know. Cowboy. Milton knows all too well just how close it came and he's checking the damage. I know there'd be probably 20 square k here gone, I suppose. But at least the fire's out. So Milton can count this one as a win. Sort of. That's the territory for you. One minute you got the lot, next minute you got nothing. Floods, fire. You got the whole lot up here. What do you do? You just get on with it, eh? Get another paddock, let's go.